Hey everybody, it's Jazzy. Surprise, surprise. Got my uh, got my camera up and running, so I'm going to try and uh, and put camera on uh, on most of these episodes moving forward. So welcome back to our playthrough of Don't Starve, Reign of Giants, Lights Out with Abigail. Let us continue on this horrible, horrible fight for survival. Yeah, I'm happy to get this up and running. I uh, I appreciate feedback as always on uh, on my methods, and you know, you guys are kind of my guinea pigs for this playthrough. It's it's my first let's play, so things are going to be a little choppy and might not always come out uh, the the way I I hope them to. Um, case in point, I think it was episode nine. It was supposed to be. Hey, there's my meaty stew. Hey, oh, did you miss me? You didn't. Uh, you didn't get too rotten. That's good. <laughs> of all the things to forget in this game, the name of the game is "Don't Starve." So don't forget. Don't forget to not starve. Okay. Let's get the stuff out of chesty. We can. Let's prototype another ice box to move, uh, get that gear out of our inventory. Besides, we're going to be putting the ice box, so we're going to be putting the ice box right here. Eventually. Hey, Caddy Boo. Man, you just, you just can't get enough of this guy. <laughs> Look at him. Uh-oh, and I'm getting cold. Uh, the, the... Let's get warm then. And I need to get more charcoal so that we can make more crock pots and finish our six pot configuration. Configuration. Did I really not grab that many rocks? Wow, I guess it's almost time to go back to the other desert and get more cactus, but I now that I have my walking cane... Oh no, we have more pressing matters. We need to get a tam o -shantor. And to get the tam o -shantor, we need to go to the triple mac tizzle biome and unfortunately abigail is no longer with us it's very unfortunate actually but we can do this without her famous last words oh yeah and i should probably be uh, thinking about wood always got to be thinking about wood what is what is worth thinking about all right we got to put the we'll drop this stuff off you know what this is a little weird. I'm going to... I'm going to make three cut stone, put that in my backpack, and then when I get three more charcoal, I'm going to pre-build another crockpot. Oh wait, did I already pre-build a crockpot? Yes, I did. So let's place that one down while we're here. Ew, I can't see a thing. <laughs> okay, I think it's this one. Oh, I hope so. Crockpots are not cheap to re... Uh, to re to uh, hammer down and put back up. It, co it cost a lot of resources. So I really want to avoid having to uh, having to move crockpots around as much as possible. Alright, let's just get our final or not our final, but the next six charcoal for our crockpot. And we will get warm. Get warm. Burn. Burn. Oh. Perfect. Broke our axe. And there's another charcoal and another crockpot. Let's see. We are going to... You think he would have respawned by now? I'm going to say no. So let's go. Let's go fight the dudes. And probably get a little pounded. Because we're Abigail... Uh, because we're Wendy and we don't have any Abigails to, uh, to instigate the fights. Yeah, I th Wendy has a, uh, a damage modifier. It's not... She's not a great fighter. I think it's like... 0.75 mod? Damage mod? Something like that. Whatever Wes has. She's basically like Wes without the... Uh, without the hunger penalty. And she has a ghost. And she has a ghost friend that just... wreaks havoc. any living thing that crosses her. Let's go up this way. Oh, I love the full moon! It's so nice to have a full moon. 
especially in uh, especially in lights out. It's like sunlight. It's it's like you gotta squint your eyes against the the blue the blue moonlight. And don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to relog when we get to day 27 because otherwise the uh, the moonlight will stay on. That is a bug. Now I did notice in another playthrough I tried this, uh, or I I discovered it inadvertently. So. In Lights Out, in my other Lights Out world, I'm I'm a little further along. I'm on like day 100 on the, on a, you know, a version that, a world that I'm not recording, and so I have Moggles. I like to wear Moggles a ton above ground, just getting around, because it's like uh, it's like being in daylight. But if you're in a full moon, and you, let's see. If you're, if you're, yeah, if there's a full moon out and then it goes to less than a full moon, like on day, say you're on day 26 and it goes to day 27, the color will change. The color of the, of the, uh, the color of the moon, the, the light that the moon makes will change, but you can still see, like it's totally visible, which is an unintended bug, it's totally cheaty. But if you if you put on your moggles and take them off, that kind of resets the uh, the overlay of of the entire map of the of your view. So you can uh, you can sort of turn the lights back off without having to relog. All right, let me let me think strategy on this, or I should just run in and go crazy. Um, Okay, because I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, what if I can get them to a chat? Oh, I should have done... I should have put on armor before attempting any of this. I wonder if I can lure... Oh, boy! No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey. Hey. Well, this is, uh... I did not expect the tall bird to be part of this fight. Get away from me! Get away, Talbert! Well, I didn't ask you to join. You are not. You have nothing to do with this. You stay out of this. You stay out of this. Come on, come on. Oh, this is less than ideal. <laughs> when did you decide to join the party, Talbert? When did you decide to, that you were going to kill me? I didn't go anywhere near you. What are you doing, Tallbird? All right, you are gonna you gonna die now? No, you. Hey, no! Get away from him! Get away from him! All right, gotta distract. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That was a little more intense than it needed to be. What the heck? Well, you did your job, Chester. That was good. And I'm almost thinking... Now I'm getting crazy ideas in my head. What if I lured the tall bird over... <laughs> I don't I don't think it's worth the trouble, honestly. Um, I was thinking, what if I lured the tall bird... Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, now it's definitely not worth the trouble. We are, we are killing you now. You must die. You don't get to do that to me. You don't get to scare me like that. <laughs> oh, such a such a majestic beast. So majestic. Okay. Now I'm gonna gather my thoughts for a minute. Okay, we're freezing. I don't have time to gather my thoughts for a minute. I really don't. Okay, you see what just happened? You see, we're back to a non-full moon, but we can still see everything. That's yeah, that's no good. We will not be we will not be manipulating we will not manipulate the game mechanics to assuade our own desires. Besides, we're playing lights out. The lights are supposed to be out. You know what I mean? The lights are supposed to be out. So let's play with the lights out. Okay? Alright, cool. Alright, we're back. And now it's now it's normal again. Let's see. As normal as lights out can be. Get away from me! Get away! Away! Yeah, let's just... Because I don't know when the next time I'll be able to get warm. 
get away from me! Yeah, you... Oh, Abigail's almost ready to come out. She is so close. Ooh, I could use a blow dart on Mac Tizzle. I'm gonna use a blow dart on Mac Tizzle. That's a good idea. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear a football hat. And I'm going to... What else am I gonna do? I'm gonna drop some stuff, because I don't need this. I don't need... Uh, I don't need axe. It seems like there's always stuff you can drop. Like, there's always tools you don't need. Okay, I'm gonna put the backpack way over here to be safe. And now, we are going to sort of lure Chester. Alright, this is not... This is not working out as well as it. Why can I not get it? All right. Hey, you bastard. Come back here. Come back here. Yeah, I know. Now you're too close. Now you're too close. Now I'm too close to you. Now I'm too close to you. What are you going to do? Because your hound boys are about to lose interest, and I'm still coming for you, big, big guy. I'm still coming for you. I see you. What you got? You got Tam for me? Another walrus tusk. I I have no need for that. Really? I have a hot thermal stone. How could I possibly be freezing? Okay, now it's not a now it's not a hot thermal stone. Man, these thermal stones, I'm not totally sure how uh Okay, I get it. I'm not totally sure how uh how useful that is because I had a hot thermal stone. Why am I, why am I freezing? All right, where are we at now? We did these two. We should go hit up, hit up this dude over meow. Cool. Well, we, uh, we killed him. That's a plus. We killed them both. And now we just need to, uh, I'm gonna unload a little bit, Chester, free up a little bit of space. Come on, Abigail! Come on! Come and be with me! I know, I know, I've heard it. I've heard it before, ooh, and after this I really gotta, uh, fix up my beefalo hat, because it's about to be beefalo, uh, flat? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Alright. Seriously, I'm so sorry. I won't do that again, I promise. But look, we're mapping out uh, more of the world. And we're going to get our Tam O'Shanter. Because we're going to get our Tam O'Shanter. Because you have a 25% dropping it. And you are going to drop it now. Because I've get, this will be my fourth Mac Tusk. And that means that it's time for you to die. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tank one hit... But it should be fine, right? It should be fine. Everything should be okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can... If I can make... Make them aggro Chester. Oh, wait. I... Tr I should probably carry the eye bone if I'm going to do this. That might be a good idea. Might be. Alright. Come on, Chester. Right? You're gonna get aggroed, right? Okay. Oh, well, aggro on the cacu. Yes, perfect. 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 Where'd you go? Yes! That, that couldn't have gone any better. Famous last words. I'm freezing, and I think it couldn't have gone any better. That's how assured I am of this Tam O'Shanter. Nope, I don't care. You, you can attack me all you want. Oops, sorry, buddy. Did I get it? Nope. But not for me. Bummer. Okay, well, we could try again in a few days. No biggie, no biggie. Let's, uh, now let's... Let's, uh... 
Let's warm our bodies. Let us rub our bodies on this burning, burning tree. And it will heal us. It will heal us. So, what am I doing now? I'm putting, yeah, I'm putting the blow darts in here. I'm putting the... <laughs> really? Three walrus tusks and no Tamashanter. Boy, game, you, uh... You really think you're funny, don't you? I mean, you are hilarious. This game is hilarious. And that's what makes it so interesting. I mean, you never... The, the game is completely different every time you play it. I, I absolutely love that about procedural, procedurally generated worlds. It's just so exciting to play. But it also means that you end up slogging through certain... Certain... Uh, parts of the game for a little longer than you should be expected to. Oh! Oh, we didn't kill you guys. We didn't kill you- wait, 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 wait! God, this would be so much easier with Abigail! Oh yes, help me! <laughs> I wish- oh! I wanna- f I wanna- f oh man, I wanna lock the cocoon in that position. <laughs> I just want you to stay like that for the next million years. I just want you to be encased in ice until... Until some, uh... uh archaeologists discover you. And they're like... What was the cause of death for this cat... Cat coon? He died in a... A, uh, quixotic... Look on his face. And then speculate on that for... Years. Alright. I'm getting... How am I getting cold again? How cold is it? I mean, I know it's I know it's colder at night. But... Man, this, this game is really, uh... Really keeping me... Keeping me rubbing my body on the trees. Absorbing the warmth through every part of me. Come on, tell me... Tell me I'm gonna stay warm enough to get back to base. All right, let's go. Oh no, we need the we need the charcoal. Ooh, do we have enough to make a? Uh, no, not yet. We need two more charcoal, and then we can uh, make another one of those crock pots. I should also start thinking about grabbing ice because if we're going to if we're going to summer proof whatever base we come up with, we are going to need a Plingomatic. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.